That's YouTube gold right there, baby. sunroof here. Wayne's got this all cleaned out. Got to clean out the drains and uh, another drain there. And then look in here. I don't know if you can see in there. More rat's nest. Just packed in there. Good times. All right, Wayne's up here doing serious rat extraction. Oh yeah, there's a big chunk coming out. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, uh, rats. All oh, right. All right, we're back in the shop. Wayne's Dismantling the doors. We're gonna go through the doors. All new rubber. Make sure there's no rust. Looks like they're all really nice on the inside. The uh, wax did its job. This is uh, all wax down in here. I thought maybe there was rust, but you can see there that is rust free. So that wax, factory wax they put in did its job. And uh, we're gonna do all new seals and all that good stuff. Little Lady Gaga going. Got a broom handle? Yeah. Rats. There's some more down in there. Yeah, even this door's got it. Alright, we are cutting this rocker out of here so that we can Work on the inner rocker. Want the face shield? This is just a rough cut. Oh, that's, that's YouTube gold right there, baby. pounds off the bus. There's a little bit of Bondo on there. Okay. A couple layers. It just was warped to shit, so they just... It's tough. These panels are tough. They're long and... So, all right, well, we got the rockers cut off, so now we can go in and weld in some new ones. All right, making a little uh, spot welder extra thing here to get in to a certain spot I'll show you here, see if this thing works. Putting these rocker panels in, getting this old stuff out. Oops. I'm leaving a 
little bit of the old fender so that when I put the new one in, I know exactly where it goes. So I'm just gonna leave this little part here for now. So my advice on putting rockers back together is buy a lot of clamps, uh, but it's going pretty good. I got the inner one in. Uh, this is kind of the middle one, I guess they call it. This is actually what the the uh, the roller rides on. Where is it? It's right there somewhere. This mess. And uh, right now I'm clamping on the. Uh, I got the inner one in. So I primed it with the weld through primer on both sides and uh, getting ready to tack this in. I remember with the three inch body drop, I left this one is actually this one. So if that makes any sense, this one is this one. So by doing the dropping it down, and that was why I went with three inches because these are three inches, so which kind of worked out good. So I left that, left it still attached as you can see to the cross pieces. And then we just cut in between this one and the intermediate one, the middle one. And now putting it back together with this. And then this will get welded along. Tack, I'll tack it along these seams. And uh, I'll be good to go. I'll prime it up real good. And then this is all getting covered. This whole area is getting covered with the belly pans. So uh, not too concerned about it being super beautiful. So I guess I'll weld it up. All right, we're not doing much filming here lately, but uh, we just got the inner rockers in on both sides. And right now we're working on fitting the belly pan and making and cutting out uh, some of this stuff. And we're making a new piece since we did the three inch body drop. This is now straight here. So Eric, is, he just made this piece over here. But uh, look at that. That looks great, Eric. Yeah, I got shortened a little bit tighten these joints up here. Yeah. So nice and straight across, and then we gotta we gotta cut out some some metal here and make some little patches. So that's about it. We got this uh, rocker in here, so we're just trying to get the undercarriage part stuff done so we can get it epoxy primed and going. All right, so we got all those panels ready to weld in. Looks pretty good. So we're going to do some spot welding, uh, just panels together with the spot welder and then uh, through the holes obviously with the MIG welder for that stuff and uh, cleans up that pretty good. A little bit of work to do right there, I'm going to have to try to make that look better. And uh, oof, we've been going all day we got uh, one panel, one panel there, we still got a lot to make. Alright so I made this little extension here for this spot welder. This is just the Harbor Freight 240 volt spot welder out of a piece of 3 8 copper and I just kind of machined it so there was a little nub on there. Drilled the hole through that bolts on and it gives me a little offset so I can get into places like this. So I just did these spot welds all along there. It worked great. I love it. I'll show it here in action. So now I can just go like this get up in here and it gets around that just like that so I get in here yep. I love it All right, so sometimes I make mistakes. So I over welded this area where there's like a, was a little dip in there and I warped this and it like sucked this up. So we just cut it back open and I'm gonna take my time welding that again to get this uh, nice and straight again. It's hard to see, but so we're, we're working on this uh, rocker piece here, getting that fit in. And uh, 
So it's, oh, there we go. So it's all looking really good now. So my advice guys is take your time and uh, tack things and clamp things and don't get in a rush. All right, we got the, uh, this rocker tacked in. We're gonna use the spot welder on the bottom. And I'd, I was doing little tacks along here, but then I decided I'm gonna run along here with the TIG welder. So I'm all grind these down nice and then just get a nice TIG weld all the way down there later on. And so that way there's no rust or anything coming through that seam because I don't know how we would seam seal that or do anything. So that's the plan. supposed to have it go till it does the spark like that's, that that's what I've been doing that seems to be the trick you kind of feel it when it starts to mush in all of a sudden oh I think it's heavy though I don't know why it has to weigh 50 pounds All right, here's the uh, final patchwork here. Actually, I'm gonna, the other side I already did, I'm gonna go ahead and weld up this whole seam because that seems like an area where rust and stuff will start. So I welded this up, welded this one up already. And uh, I'll look down here. So you can see here, uh, I, I kind of cleaned that up, but I welded that all up and all of this is all welded. So there's no, uh, no exposed seams. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for coming back and uh, watching another one. Keep following along. Tag, uh, tag me if you got any questions. Hit the like and subscribe button. You know the drill. See you at the next one, guys. Peace.